why we are. Yeah, okay. A pond is a teich in German. It's a, a place which contains water. In my pond, there are two dimensions. There's one that goes this way and one that goes this way. And the vertical dimension is register. The horizontal dimension is neutral in the middle and it's sensational at the side okay so you can use the pond to classify words and let's just think about the word essential which you used in your titles so the word essential let's put it here Okay, the word essential is good high register, and that means it belongs on the surface of the pond. If I said something like, boah, is really important, it's really, really great, that would take me down into the mud at the bottom of the pond because it's low register. If you remember our discussion on register last week, register is the level of language how good is our language is it the right level and we want to be on the top of the pond if we go low register we slip down into the mud and we're being sloppy okay so the word essential is good it's at the top it's also neutral it's not sensational it's quite a strong word but it's not at all fancy or theatrical out towards the sides. So now, if I say arginine 173 is essential for recombination, can anyone think of another word that would take us somewhere out towards the edges of the pond, something a bit more sensational? Perhaps something like is great for. Yeah, great would be down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's right. <laughs> And you illustrate a really good point, which is when we try to get more sensational and more pushy, we yeah, we get down. just get down. Okay? Yes. So yeah. great would be way down here and we don't use it. How about a higher register word? Marvelous? I don't know. Uh, I... Say that again. Marvelous? Marvelous. It's <laughs> also down here. Yeah. Um, marvelous. Uh, it's a lovely word, but it's, it's too sensational and it gets low register. I think so crucial. Red. Go on. Crucial. Crucial. Yeah, that's a good one. Crucial. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, excellent is also out here. I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, any other words? Crucial. We've got. Fundamental. Fundamental. Fundamental is great. Yeah, fundamental is also out here. Quite sensational. Can we think of something very neutral, a bit less pushy than essential? Arginine 173 is critical. Critical is also out here, I'd say. Yeah, critical. Maybe required. Required, beautiful. Yeah. I'm running out of space, but I'm going to put required there. This is a very nice word. How about key? Key? Key. K E Y. Key. Oh, I like it. Yes, it's it's a bit sensational. Key. Yeah, it's a bit sensational. Uh, let's just stick with required. Why is that actually softer than essential? You're actually saying the same thing. You're saying we need it. Well, if you require something, you can live without it. But if it is essential for you, like the like mm -hmm. the air you breathe, it, uh, you yeah. can't live without it. It required is like. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's not that hard. <laughs> it's needed. You do need it. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, one of the reasons required is more neutral and softer than essential is it's a passive. Yeah. It's, it is required. So mm -hmm. it already makes the thing a little bit more indirect and a bit softer. Yeah. So how about if we had um, taken away the arginine 173? we get 50% of the recombination activity. So it isn't essential for recombination, but we want to use the word essential in our title. How could we do that? 
arginine 173 is essential for for what normal uh, function yeah for normal function or for full recombination or um for for, for half activity. of the recombination for half of the recombination that kind of, yeah. <laughs> if you want to shoot yourself in the foot you can do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this this pond is a really useful tool to test out also your feeling for language um and there's two things i want you to take away from this and i will refer to the pond again and again um in this particular situation um we've talked about how it's easy to slide down to the bottom of the pond if you try to get really sensational so be careful and we've talked about how words are words that are neutral are safe but words that are nearer to the edge are a little bit more fun okay um the pond the size of the pond so this dimension is different for every part of the document the pond for the results is rather small um the pond for the introduction is rather bigger do you think the pond also gets deeper when it gets bigger no Roman is shaking his head it's a big no the pond always stays the same depth low register is always low register and high register is always high register so it's a nice tool for us to classify vocabulary and um, we're going to be coming back to that when we meet new words and so on all of the words that you used in the negative titles and the positive titles for title two were perfectly within this space so i was very pleased with that yeah so i think you have a good sense of what is good language and um, we'll do more on this in the future okay are there any questions on that before we move on okay